Many pupils are facing the issue of audio service not responding. Audio service not responding on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I thought if my viewers are also encountering this problem, why not address it? I always try to cover every topic suggested in the comment as quickly as possible. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The audio service not responding error in Windows 10 can be caused by a number of factors including outdated or corrupted audio drivers, conflicting third-party software, system file corruptions, and hardware failure. If you are experiencing this error, there are a few things you can try to fix it. Number 1. Restart the Windows audio service. To do this, press Windows plus R key to open the run dialog box, type services.msc and press enter. In the services windows, scroll down and find the windows audio service and then right click on it and select restart. Select any service, press W and here you will get the windows audio service. Now simply click on the restart, it will restart. Once you have done this, let's move on to step number 2. Run the playing audio troubleshooter. To do this, Open the windows setting, from clicking on the windows icon then click on the settings and then update and security, troubleshoot, advanced troubleshooter and now here you can click on the playing audio and then run the troubleshooter. Which of these devices do you want to troubleshoot? So it's on you whether you are using speaker, using your microphone output or any other just like that and click on next. It will find the solution and fix it if possible. Number 3. Update your audio drivers. You can do this manually by downloading the latest drivers from your computer manufacturer website or you can use a third party driver updater tool to scan for and install outdated drivers automatically. There are a lot of third party tools but in case if you need a free tool then search for the CC cleaner. Once you go over there just click on it and now here you can see free download get free get CC cleaner pro. Now we are looking for here the professional for trial. Once you go over there it will automatically start downloading and then after downloading install it. It will provide you 14 days trial version in which you can download and update your drivers. Number 4. Perform a clean boot. This will help you to identify and third party software that may be causing the conflict to perform a clean boot. Follow these steps. Click on the windows icon then search for run command and open it. Now type msconfig and hit enter. Once you go over there click on the services then hide all microsoft services. Click on hide all microsoft services. Disable all. Now hit apply and ok. Now hit apply and one more thing you can do here just go into the startup tab. Open task manager. Now in the task manager windows go to the startup tab. Disable all startup items. Close the task manager. Click ok in the system configuration windows and restart your computer. Once your computer has restarted try to play audio. If the audio is working then you can enable the services and startup items that you disabled one at a time until you find the one that is causing the problem. Number 5. Update Windows. Microsoft regularly releasing updates that fix bugs and improve the performance of Windows. To update Windows, click on the Windows icon, then go into the Settings, Update and Security, and then click on Check for Updates. Run a System Clean. Number 6. To do this, open the command prompt as an administrator, just click on the windows icon, type cmd, right click on it, run as administrator and now here you need to type the sfc space slash scan, now hit enter. This will scan your computer for corrupted system files and attempt to repair them. Number 7. 
try a different audio device if you have another audio device available such as a pair of headphones or speaker try connecting it to your computer and see if the audio works if it does then the problem is likely with your original audio device if you have tried all of the above solutions and the audio service are still not responding then you may need to reinstall windows restore the windows audio service another step you can perform before reinstalling the windows open the command prompt by clicking on the windows icon then right click on it and run as administrator now here you need to apply two commands that will restart your audio service sc space config space audio srv space start is equal to audio you can copy these commands from description by the way once you apply this command now apply the second command sc space start space audio srv and hit enter i'm not applying right now because i'm already recording my audio so might be it will disturb my recording these commands will restart your windows audio service if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and yeah there's another tutorial also related to this topic link is given below in the description just go ahead check out if this tutorial is not working for you might be that will work for you see you in the next video till then just take yourself allah hafiz bye bye